Ukraine's allies one by one have pledged several billion dollars in non-military aid during the first day of a two-day recovery conference in London. Delegates from more than 60 countries are attending the event, which is both a fundraising forum and a message to Russia that Ukraine's Western supporters are in it for the long haul. But the figures being asked for are vast, as Ukraine's Prime Minister made clear. Overall, at least $411 billion is needed for long-term reconstruction. Every day, Russia is inflicting new losses on Ukraine and unfortunately this figure will grow. And Ukraine's deputy infrastructure minister stressed that restoring the country's battered economy is necessary now. The restoration isn't the consequences of the victory. It's just the part of the resistance. More, we are paying the salaries to our soldiers through the taxes. We're very grateful to our partners which provide us weapons. But the army, Ukrainian army is big now, demands money. The EU's commission president pledged one of the largest amounts of the day, 50 billion euros to help Ukraine rebuild. It's our job and our duty to the Ukrainians who have paid the ultimate sacrifice that we ensure that this reimagined future becomes reality. Brick by brick. The U.S. has vowed to send an additional $1.3 billion to overhaul Ukraine's energy grid and modernize other critical infrastructure. Recovery is about laying the foundation for Ukraine to thrive as a secure, independent country, fully integrated with Europe, connected to markets around the world. And we call on others to follow... The conference continues today when private investment groups are expected to build on their contributions.